Hi, here's a tutorial on how we do our line drawings. First, what you'll want to have open is your line drawing. I've got the Daughter Judy Seneca jumpsuit and the fabric that you want to use. I'm taking the selection tool and grabbing as much of the fabric that I can that is nice and flat. I'm going to copy and paste it into my line drawing file and resize it to get a better idea of the scale. Put it in the right position, copy and paste a few layers for later use. Just make them invisible, changing the layer type to multiply so I can see the file behind it. Taking the quick selection tool and isolating the pattern piece that I want, so just the front bodice, and then I'll click on the clipping mask and that's it. Now I'm just going in and cleaning up any extra bits that I missed. So with the brush on white, I'm adding more of the fabric that didn't make it in my quick selection tool. And with the brush on black, I am taking away anything that I grabbed that was extra that I didn't want. So now I'm just zooming through and doing the same thing on all the other pattern pieces. So the sleeve, the yoke, the collar. Here I'm coloring in the inside, which I don't want to have the pattern on. And I'm doing the same to the right side. I'm blocking off the pocket piece because I want to play around with the print direction on this one a bit later. I'll show you that. Once you get the hang of it, it gets really fun to play around with print mixing, changing up the print direction on different pattern pieces, color blocking. It's also a useful tool to help you plan out if you're hacking a pattern. Really the possibilities are endless and um, there's really no limit to your creativity. There's that pocket with the print direction changed and that's the completed jumpsuit. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see the jumpsuit sewn up in real life, check out the Blackbird Fabrics Instagram page and see our latest community make.